Hey, buddy. Good morning. I'm glad to see you up out and about. The sun went down and the uh, rain clouds moved in. So I guess we need a little bit of that for barbecue fest. <laughs> My fraternity brothers, uh, I've got a, well, I've got two fraternity brothers that have some uh, teams down there on Tom Lee Park at the river uh, competing for the uh, barbecue contest. Sweet swine of mine, I think, is, uh, is Mark Lambert's, and I can't think of uh, Dustin Autry's <laughs> team's name, but uh, good luck to all you guys that are doing it. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, and uh, I'm very excited that you guys are in the competition. It's, it's a tough one. So, today I want to talk about effort. It's a good manly topic to talk about. And it's funny how when we get older, like in our 40s, 50s, that our efforts tend to slow down. And it's funny, even I've seen people in their 20s and 30s slow down their efforts too. Not just the physical efforts, but also uh, mental and uh, spiritual efforts too. So what is effort? Well, effort is when you put your energy towards something. And when you have a massive effort to do something, uh, you have a massive effect that comes out of it. The problem that a lot of people have, well, a lot of men have had to deal with lately is being marginalized. You can be as, put forth as much effort as you want to so long as I get to tell you what to put your effort towards so long as it doesn't offend me so long as it doesn't have something to do with what I want to do if, you, if long as you're not intruding on my agenda then uh, then you can put forth as much effort as you want to I laugh at that I laugh at that wholeheartedly um, but it's it seems to be the mainstay and the reason that I want to talk about effort is uh, we had some sparring last night at my karate school and these kids are fighting their hearts out. I had one little boy that did a hip throw on this older kid and threw him, his feet were straight up in the air. It was exciting to watch. I saw another kid who was crying because uh, Hope had just knocked him senseless. And I said, hey look, you know, uh, you gotta learn how to play hurt. You gotta learn how to do it when you're hurt. So shake it off and get back in the ring. And he finished. He finished his two minute round. I was really proud of him. And the father came up to me afterwards and he said, You know, Marshall, uh, I applaud your efforts. You know, I, I wish I had, I could do that with my kids. And I said, Well, you can. You can you can put forth the effort and uh and just be there for your kid and, and help them do a lot of the things that I'm doing. And he says, well, you know, I, that's why I bring them to you. I just don't want to put the effort towards doing that. And I kind of thought about that for a minute. And I said, you don't want to put the effort towards your own children. Damn, that's sad. If you don't put your effort towards the things that you want to happen... Or things that you want to get done how the hell are you going to be able to say that you've accomplished anything and some people are like well I've accomplished enough I've done enough now it's your turn to do whatever that's not a very manly thing to do as a matter of fact that's kind of a bitch way out if you ask me um, effort is not easy effort is tough there's a lot of times when I could be doing something else. There's a lot of times where I could be asleep. A lot of times where I could be messing off and doing something else. But you know, I always go back and think, what would my opponent do? Would my opponent sleep? Would my opponent uh, goof off? Would my opponent... Uh, 
take the easy way and most of the time I don't know how your imagination is and I don't know what opponent, opponents that you've ever faced but mine are absolutely badass they're scary actually they they uh they eat sleep drink and run martial arts they run their lives like that and they're always training if not mentally then physically and spiritually it's tough it's a tough market but i know that if i stay consistent and i know that if i stay on the path and channel my energies into what i need to do that i'll be successful and that's been the thing that has separated me from all the other things and, and, and all the other martial arts schools in, in Cairo. When I started my martial arts school, I was fresh out of the army. It was 2002. I couldn't find a job anywhere. Uh, nobody was hiring at all. 9-11 uh, had just happened. It was like six months after 9-11 had happened. And uh, everybody was still in freeze mode as to when they were going to hire anyone. So I was a little stuck. I didn't know what to do. So I started my own martial arts business. Well, in Collierville, at the time, there were like nine or 12 other martial arts schools. They were all pretty small. There was a couple of them really big. And I was like, man, maybe this is the wrong market to open the martial arts school. And maybe this is the wrong thing to do uh, for karate. I, maybe I should go back into town and do it in there but something inside was like no no this is where I live this is the people that I went to high school with these are the people that I know this is some of the people I went to college with so I'll, I'll try my best to get it to work here now I started out really small I remember my first class was October the 1st 2002 and I had three people show up to class that was it put an ad in the paper, started handing out flyers. I was substitute teaching in the elementary schools, junior highs and the high school to see if I could get kids to come into my school that way. And some did. And little by little, it started to grow. Now we're about 75 active students in my school, but it took 13 years of effort. And I know that if I back off for a day, back off for a month that it'll all go away because there's always somebody out there trying to take the business away from me it's the same way when I put effort toward weight loss and, and, and trying to keep a healthy diet this is the first time in my life since I was right out of high school and college when I was running track uh that I actually have abs. <laughs> I had the dad bod for a long time. I didn't even notice. I just thought, you know, I'm older, so I just get fat, like everybody else in my family. But that's not true. You just have to focus your energy. You have to put forth the effort. And a lot of it isn't putting forth the effort and doing ab crunches or putting forth the effort to work out every day. That's the easy part. The effort part is when you're looking and seeing all the food that you could eat that'll get your ass fat. That's the hard part. The box of donuts somebody decides to bring into the office. The uh, birthday cake somebody wants you to have a piece of. The ice cream cake that somebody was kind enough to come and bring into the, the cubicle area that you guys work at. The popcorn that somebody had decided to pop and pop too much, so they wanted you to have some. The huge bags of candy that keep getting dumped on AutoZone because Mars Candy Bars wants to do business with AutoZone. We have way too much candy in our area and we have to put some in your area. Please eat as much as you can. What the crap is that? It's all about effort. It's all about a mindset. If I focus my energy into doing something or not doing something, I can accomplish just about anything. You've done it all your life, if you think about it. How did you get through high school? Well, I focused, and when it got hard, and when I got lazy, 
You know, I had to light a fire under my ass and get it done. I'd do it in college. When things got hard and I didn't like the teacher and everything felt like it was against me, I pushed back and I, and I muscled my way through it. You know, same thing in the military. One of the things that they want you to do is to drop on request, DOR, I want your DOR, I want you to quit. Why do they keep saying that? Every single piece of the army training that I had to do had a DOR program. They wanted you to quit. Why? Why did they want you to quit? Because they didn't want somebody who didn't know how to put forth the effort. They didn't know how to channel the energy. Because they know how the real world acts. They know how a combat situation is going to turn out. It's only those people that can channel that effort, channel that energy into what they're doing right now and push everything out of their mind that will succeed. That's tough. Guys, that's not for everybody. I know a lot of people who can't do that. I know a lot of people who don't have the discipline to do that. I see them every day. And are we doing anybody any favors when we let them go by? Are we doing anybody any favors by saying, oh, you're good enough? Are we doing anybody any favors when we say, you know what? You don't have to put forth the effort. We'll just give it to you. Everybody's a winner. No, we're not doing anybody any favors. Because now the generation that we did that to is trying to go and get a job over here in the corporate world. And guess what happens? They get there. They don't have any credentials. They don't know how to put forth any effort. They were given everything all their life, and then they wonder why they can't get a job. <laughs> it's kind of sad if you think about it. Me, I, I want to put forth effort into things I think will bear fruit. There are some things that I have to put forth effort into that, in my opinion, won't bear fruit won't do well for me or for the people that I work with. But, you know, as any good soldier, you do what you're asked to do and focus your energy that way. Have you had to do that? Have you had to soldier through something? Something that you hated? Something that you didn't want to do, but you did it anyway because somebody had told you you had to do it? You still have to put forth the same kind of effort. That laser point effort to get it done. You can apply this to anything. And it's also part of being a man. If you don't know how to put forth effort in things and you are a quitter, you'll never be able to win. Not everybody gets to run a marathon. Not everybody gets to do a 24 or 25 mile road march or a 12 mile road march. Not everybody runs a 5K or a 15K. But it's a really good illustration of effort. When you're able to do that kind of long distance run or long distance hike or long distance march, it teaches you your perseverance. It teaches you that you can do stuff. And it's those things that you learn going through life. Hey, I accomplished this. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Look back against that and say, you know what? If I did it then, I can do it now. Are we doing that for our kids? Are we, are we helping our children out like that? Or are we just saying, you know what? You're good enough. How do you add value to somebody's life if you don't reward their efforts? How do you add value to somebody's life if they've never been through anything? If they've never had anything they had to work for? And everybody's level of effort is different. I know that the kids with autism can't do the same kind of level as some kid that doesn't have that impediment. I know some kid that doesn't have, you know, both legs can't run as fast as the kid that's got two legs. But damn it, they can sure give me some effort. As a matter of fact, they have to work harder just to meet normal. 
You have to command people like that, you know? This is not easy. Extremely tough. Life isn't about easy. Being a man's not about being easy. Being a man's about putting forth effort when nobody else will. Being a man is knowing how to put that laser-like focus and effort into what they're doing so that you can accomplish what needs to happen. And people are looking to you to do that. Oh, no, they're not. Everybody's equal. Everybody's the same. You really believe that? Look around. Well, we're all, we're all made equal. Really? Are we? Are we all really made equal? Look around. Use your judgment. You know better. Ladies look to men. They look to us for strength and effort. We're not always the smartest, but when shit goes down, who are they gonna go hide behind? Are they gonna go hide behind their uh, their girlfriend who showed up with them? When things get real, they want to find a guy they can they can stand behind. They know that they're going to put forth the effort to protect them, to house them, feed them, help them. You guys know this is true. Don't let all the politically correct bullshit cloud your judgment. It's not only biblical, it's also pragmatic. It's exactly the way things are. Don't be afraid to put forth effort in the things that you want and need to do. That's what men do. Don't be the lazy guy who says, oh, you know, I've did it in the past, so you do it this time. Don't be that guy. Don't be the guy that said, well, I put my hours in, I put my time in, you need to go ahead and do this for me. Don't be that guy. Every day is a new day. Every day you have to prove yourself to be a man. Every day. Or if you don't show up every day, you're proving how you're not a man. That's tough. That's some hard love right there. If you have something going on in your life, if you know exactly what I'm talking about with the effort, why don't you post something down below? Why don't you tell us what, you, what you're doing? Just tell us about your life story. Tell us about the effort that you have to put into things. I need that. I need to know that I'm the, not the only one that thinks like this. I need to know that you guys are walking the same path. I need to know that you guys are going down the same trail. Because sometimes I run so fast and I look so far forward that I look beside me and there's nobody there. That's why I created this group. Now, Phalanx is a, it's a formation. If you're marching or you're running, you get too far ahead, you wonder where everybody else is and if they're going the same direction you are. I know you guys feel the same way about this that I do, but we all need to hear it. So post below. Before I let you go, I want to remind you guys, we have the Phalanx get together. I've changed the location. Sorry. We are going to be at the trophy room. And uh, you guys know the times. I think it starts at like four. We'll be there for an hour or two. And uh, I want to ask you guys some questions. And I want you guys to answer me candidly about the questions that I ask you in the Phalanx meeting. It'll be a good time to, to hang out, but most importantly, we need to hear from other men. And if you guys don't mind, we're going to actually uh, make it kind of a game. So, and we'll, then, then we'll post some stuff uh, from that meeting later. Anyway, I hope you have a great week got today and tomorrow for your work week and then you're done so put your effort into it put your shoulder into the wheel and push and be the man all right guys stay dry and as always i'm your friend marshall